Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the Advent Calendar review uh, for day six. Yep, almost a week into this. And uh, I gotta say that personally I'm enjoying this more than when I did it back in 2017. Um, it's a little bit more laid back on my part, I think, and I'm not uh, trying to do everything one day, which was a lot. But anyway, this is day six, and today what we're going to be trying is from D and G Brewing Company. Uh, they are out of St. Charles, Illinois. St. Charles is a western suburb of Chicago. It is north of Aurora. In fact, this is like the third different brewery that I'm like, oh, it's north of Aurora. Uh, so that must be like a really big local small brewery area. Um, I will note that there's just been a plethora of local breweries in the state of Illinois. They seem to have happened the last 15 years or so. Uh, it's a golden age of the local, local brewery. It seems that any town you go to, there's a local brewery there. And I like it. Um, but D&G Brewing in St. Charles, the D&G stand for their names. Uh, their names are Alex Dreyer and his wife, Brittany Groot, as in the tree from what the movies. Alex Dreyer and Brittany Groot, D&G Brewing Company in St. Charles, Illinois. Their website is dngbrewing.com. That's the letter D, then A N D, then the letter G, brewing.com. And what we have today is their We've Gone Nuts. And let's see how nutty they've gone. This is a bourbon black walnut brown ale with mild bourbon notes, distinct black walnut flavor, and a touch of caramel. This is a delightful holiday sipper. Okay, so it says it's a sipper. It's 7.6% alcohol by volume. And the, uh, the art on here, it's like a, it's a basic concept of a drawing, scores with nuts, but I think it was done well. Some trees colorful. I like it. Uh, on the bottom it says this product contains black walnuts and bourbon oak chips. Okay, so they use chips, which I mean, not everyone has bourbon barrels lying around to use. Those are expensive. And chips, although they might not give you exactly the same profile, will definitely give you some bourbon flavor. Let's go ahead and open it up, pour it out, take a picture about postings. This is a nice popping sound. Alright, pour it out. I am familiar with black walnut only as like a ice cream flavor. Look at that. It's nice and brown. Just off white on the foam of the head. Uh, not like perfectly clear, but I would say 90. 5% clear. Alright, let's line them together so we can take a photo. If I have my camera, I'll put it on the computer. Let's put it on the computer. Some cheese. Excellent. Now we get to taste it. I do like black walnut ice cream. Um, if you've had a butter pecan ice cream, it's similar, uh, but it is different. 
and uh, my stepfather-in-law is his favorite flavor of ice cream. You know, as I waited, the head is mostly gone. There's a little ring of it around it now. Hmm, there's a bit of a nutty smell to it. Taste. Okay. Okay. You definitely get that like <clears throat> medium roast from a red ale. It's almost like just caramelized. I would say it is a sipper in the in the, uh, in the way that it's like it doesn't go down super easy. The bit of a harshness to it. I think it's just all uh, the flavors. And it is still got some bitterness from hops in there, for sure. Mm. I'm trying to see if I pick up everything that's in here. There's a sweetness to it, but I'm not getting a ton of specifically like a bourbon-y flavor. But there is a sweetness to it, but that would be coming from anything. This is a pretty effervescent beer. A lot of carbonation to it. Hmm. It's an interesting flavor profile. Flavor profile. I'm not sure it's my favorite at all. It's not bad. It's different. Hmm. Overall, not my cup of tea. But I can see someone enjoying it. We've gone nuts. D and G Brewing Company. St. Charles, Illinois. And that's that for Advent Beer number six. See you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.